Hey guys, Steve Lake here, and today, as you can tell from the subject of the video, is talking about shoes that look better in photographs. So, it's almost like part of the sneakerhead culture in a weird way that having a DSLR is like the thing to do. Um, now, what I'm sharing with you guys today is a Freerunner 5.0 NRG model. Uh, this sneaker photographs extremely well. The colors come out extremely vibrant. Uh, this was done in tribute of Jerry Rice, and there's some really nice things about the sneaker. Uh, I purchased it for myself, and when I took it out of the box, I was really disappointed at how flat the colors were. So, even right now, my camera is making it look a little bit better than it is, but the gold tones and the red, I'm going to show you a photo that I took of them, just don't pop the way that I wanted them to, uh, and they're a little bit too dull to be something that I wanted to actually add to my collection. So. Uh, that's just really kind of the moral of the story is a lot of people get sold on photos um, But there are so many things and so many editing options in Lightroom that can really adjust and alter or correct an image and, You know a lot of people refer to it as you know models that uh, get altered and get their images altered or get pores removed So it looks more perfect the same thing goes on for sneakers So a lot of guys will say oh, I'm on the fence. I really want to see it in person This is one of the sneakers that I couldn't see in person I picked up anyway, and uh, I'm not very happy with so let me just give you a detailed review though So you can see because there are some cool things about this model And it's only fair to Jerry Rice that you guys get a cool uh, close-up review. So hang on one sec so here's a look at the model. As you can see, the colors are looking better on the DSLR, underwhelming in person, but it's a pretty cool concept. So they did a gradient fade from the gold into the red hues, very San Francisco 49ers. Uh, across the tongue, you've got rice written there, free 5.0 TR trainer. Um, you've got the white on the outsole. They didn't do anything too special, but they kept kind of a uh, football pins, pigskin leather colored uh, thing. Another nice detail is they, they did metal tipped lace locks, which is great. Um, and then inside the sneaker, which is pretty cool, is uh, they did special insoles. Now, these should come out fairly easy, but you can see what they've done is they've written many of his accomplishments on the inside. Uh, and going along with that hang tag, this is definitely a premium release. Now, to my knowledge, these only dropped online in, in base area, um, Bay Area Nike accounts, so these were pretty damn limited. Um, and they restocked on Nike.com and I've actually bought a ton of them So this is supposed to be my personal pair But it's not going to be something that's going to be staying in my collection because the colors are just not what I wanted them to be Moral of the story always try if you can to get to see the sneaker in person before you cop If you enjoyed this video hit that thumbs up button for me T-Blake signing out. Peace guys